the millions of patriotic Muslim Americans in this country to make our country safer and to make it harder, if not outright prevent, extremist organizations from radicalizing vulnerable members uh, of their community. Uh, and that is something that we've been focused on for quite some time. Uh, it's very challenging work, uh, but it's something that has uh, attracted a lot of attention. Uh, and one of the things that I would commend to your attention that I noticed earlier today is this uh, op-ed uh, in the New York Times uh, by a, uh, an American Muslim who is a naval reservist. Uh, his name is Haider Ali Hussein Malik. And he writes very persuasively uh, about some of the issues that you raise. Uh, and he cited specifically the FBI's community outreach program uh, in Minneapolis, uh, where we, uh, we saw the U.S. government and some law enforcement, elements, uh, law enforcement elements of the U.S. government uh, work effectively uh, with the local Muslim community in Minneapolis to counter radicalization efforts and in some cases even prevent terrorist attacks. That kind of coordination is critical to our ongoing success.